Colorado prosecutors threw the book at James Holmes on Monday. The alleged gunman in the Aurora massacre was charged twice for each of the victims, 142 counts in all. We also heard from Holmes in court for the first time. He said one word, yes, when asked if it was okay to postpone an upcoming hearing. As John Blackstone reports, the courtroom was packed. With their wounds still bandaged, some of the victims of the theater shooting entered the Colorado courtroom to see the accused gunman formally charged. This time, cameras were barred from the courtroom, but Holmes seemed little different from his first appearance a week ago. Mary Ellen Hansen said she had to be there. It made me very resentful and angry that he would would do this to so many people. Hansen's niece is Ashley Moser. She was shot in the neck and is paralyzed. She had a miscarriage, and her six-year-old daughter, Veronica, was the youngest person killed in the shooting. Ashley's, it's going to be a long recovery. Uh, Ashley's very aware of what's going on right now. I think at this time, she has to receive a little bits and pieces of things um, because it is such a shock. To keep the option of pursuing either the death penalty or life in prison, prosecutors filed charges under two different state laws. The result is that for 12 deaths, Holmes faces 24 charges of first-degree murder and 116 attempted murder charges for the 58 who were wounded. When told he could face the death penalty, Holmes had no reaction. He had a poker face on the whole time. What was that like to see someone who's done so much harm to your family? It just seems so cold-blooded, very indifferent about human life. But the resilience of human life has also been evident since the shooting. One more victim has been released from the hospital and one has come off the critical list, leaving 10 victims hospitalized, three of them critical. For CBS This Morning, John Blackstone, Centennial, Colorado.